But I believe God is gathering the remnant and the hungry ones, the eagles. He's gathering the ones that love the Lord and the things of God and are willing to go deeper in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Well, friends, I'm here live from Singapore. Let me know where you're watching from. I saw some uh, people commenting below. Comment below where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Because today I'm going to talk to you about the net of God. And I believe that there's going to be some new nets. Some new nets that work. There's going to be some new nets. God is going to release over you and over your life in this season. Amen. So I want to talk to you about this word and this vision that the Lord gave me yesterday. Even as I was here in Singapore. Amen. So I'm, I'm going to be sharing that word in a few minutes. But amen, let me know where you're watching from, Florida, Philippines, Arkansas, Canada. Amen, I saw the fillers earlier. Orlando, Florida, amen. Lord willing, I'll be in Florida at the end of this month, actually, August. No meeting set up yet. Definitely got some time of rest and refreshing in the beaches of Florida and some meetings and divine appointments, some men of God, some generals. Vic Strike BC, Canada, thank you for being a subscriber. John Casey, bless you, South Jersey. Kiara Barabosa, hello from Nigeria, bless you. Didi, bless you, Shal I hope you enjoyed Hawaii your first time. I know CC probably really blessed you. CC, that lady is a wild, <laughs> wild woman. She loves traveling and enjoying the glory of God. Reka from Malaysia. Listen, I'm going to be in KL this Sunday. I'm ministering twice at C3 Church. And on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm going to be at DUMC Myanmar. DUMC Myanmar. We got the Outback in the house. Carmen from Canada, bless you. Becky Weaver, bless you. Praise God, I'm live here in Singapore. And uh, I want to minister the word of the Lord to you in a few minutes. Help us to build up the room and the atmosphere and the algorithm. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Bless you from the Philippines. I was hopefully trying to go to the Philippines next week. But it looks like the right door did not open. So I want you to pray for me. Can you pray for me? I'm believing for the right door to open next weekend. I actually have a free weekend. August 11th, 12th, 13th. And uh, I have a free weekend, so I'm believing the Lord's going to open up the right door either for me to come back here to Singapore or even Thailand. I have two pending opportunities in Thailand right now. But I'm here in Southeast Asia, and you know what? It was a trip to get out here. It was a long ride. From Hawaii to Tokyo, 10 hours. Tokyo to Singapore, another seven hours. So literally, I traveled 24 hours. It was a long trip. But uh, <clears throat> I'm glad to be here. Hello, we got Philippines showing up strong. Praise God. Kiaraba, come to Grand Junction. I will be back to Grand Junction very soon. Lord willing, at least twice by the end of this year. Amen. I would love to come to Philippines. Just believing for the right door in time. Amen. Well, friends, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Lift up your hands right now. Father, I thank you. Right now, every single person that is being connected to this broadcast, I ask you for the fire and the favor of God to come upon your people. And I thank you right now that you are going to begin to move in miracles, signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. And I thank you right now, every single person that is connected to this breakthrough broadcast, that there will be an outpouring of your spirit, of your power in the mighty name of Jesus. And all of God's people say, amen, amen, and amen. Now listen, some people are commenting that your screens are frozen. Uh, just exit and come back in and let me know if you hear me and see me well. Praise God.
Thank you, Jamie Hernandez, for being a subscriber. God bless you. Well, today I want to talk about casting your net on the right side. Cast your nets on the right side. Amen. And like I said, I'm here in Singapore. I have not been to this blessed nation since 2019. And in 2019, I did a whole tour. It was crazy. In two weeks, we did four, four countries or maybe even five countries. In 2019, we did five. It's wild. And I had a small group of people with me. But in 2019, I came here to Singapore. We went to Bali, Indonesia, ministered in Malaysia, and also ministered in Cambodia uh, and Thailand. So we did five different countries in two weeks, and that was a wild, wild tour. We did a crusade in northern Thailand. We had about 3,000 people show up. And they said that was a record-breaking number for that region. Uh, and as well, um, ministered in the biggest church in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And that was awesome. A lot of mass deliverance, a lot of deliverance in these Asian countries. And then uh, in Singapore, we had a two, three-day event notice. And we had 300 people show up. It was awesome. But the last time I came to Singapore and this region, Southeast Asia, was 2019, before Corona Bologna. So I'm very happy to be back. And if you don't know, I lived in Singapore for almost a year. I did my School of Frontier Missions school with YWAM here. And Singapore is a very uh, dear place to me because it was here in Singapore that I, I, I received sonship. It's here in Singapore where God delivered me from a perform mentality uh, and he really delivered me from an identity crisis here in Singapore. And it was here in Singapore where God taught me about the father's heart and he became my father. And as well where I became a son and the Lord really began to take me deep in identity. And from Singapore, I moved to Malaysia and I lived in Malaysia for nearly two and a half years. Um, and it was in Malaysia where God really began to take me deep in the secret place. I was connected to the house of prayer in Malaysia. And that's why many of my best friends in the world are here in Southeast Asia. And they're part of the house of prayer movement. So I have deep roots here in Southeast Asia, um, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia countries and people groups that I love oh so dearly. Amen. Uh, but I'm here. Uh, and the last time I was here was 2019. Um, but even the host, my friend who's hosting these meetings here in Singapore, uh, this lady shared that uh, the anointing on my life has grown so much even from 2019 to now. That even from 2019 to Today, the anointing from that meeting to today is so different. And of course, from 2020 and on, I mean, you really have to break through. You really have to be anointed and called by God if you're going to advance past Corona Bologna and through the tyranny and through the fear and through the nonsense and the closure of the world. You really have to be anointed and called by God to break through and to continue to prosper and go from glory to glory. And let me tell you, from then to now, my life is, is definitely not the same. Our ministry is definitely not the same, amen? And from then to now, there's such an increase on my life and on our ministry, all the glory goes to God. Uh, but it's good to be back here in, in Singapore. And I believe in for a great harvest. I see a lot of uh, Singaporeans or local Asians coming forth, so praise God. But I'm excited to be back here in Southeast Asia. And um, when I'm in Kuala Lumpur, I'm going to be ministering in two of the biggest, uh, two of very big ministries. So I'm very excited about that. And then afterwards, I do go to Indonesia. And uh, we're going to be ministering in a gathering of a couple thousand people at least. Um, and hear me now. I'm just speaking prophetical. Is that okay? Is it okay for me to just speak prophetically? And for me to just share my heart. Because as I'm sharing my heart, there's prophetic rambling that's taking place. Amen. 
And once again, help me to build up the room in the algorithm. Uh, I don't know why the room is so low right now, but the Lord's going to break through today in Jesus' name. Uh, however, hallelujah, however, I'm actually here in Independence Day season because here in Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, it's going to be their Independence Day in the next week or so. So it's very profound. Actually, we are doing an event, Open Heavens Indonesia. We're doing an Open Heavens event in Indonesia on their Independence Day. Isn't that interesting? Um, so I'm believing God's going to do something very powerful. And the last time I did a broadcast with Prophet Joel Abraham, who was a prophetic voice, prophetic pillar in the nation of Indonesia. Uh, early this year, I believe, we did a Zoom uh, towards the nation of Indonesia. And there was about five, 600 people present live at the time. And uh, as I ministered the word of the Lord, hallelujah, as I ministered the word of the Lord, there was an earthquake that took place in Indonesia. Now, isn't it interesting because there's signs that make you wonder. And these signs will confirm the word of the Lord. And so I'm here in these regions in their Independence Day season. Amen. In this Independence Day season, I'm here in these regions. In that season, I believe there's going to be freedom. There's going to be jubilee. There's going to be breakthrough. There's going to be the fire of God. And I don't believe it's a coincidence that I'm here in these seasons, in these regions, in this time. Does that make sense to you? So anyways... <clears throat> Praise God. I want to talk to you about this vision that I had. And if you're with me today, I want to say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. People are continuing to comment that I'm frozen. I'm not frozen. You're frozen. Uh, but we declared the dethawing anointing of God. That you will begin to dethaw in the Holy Ghost. In the fire of Jesus. Amen. But I'm here um, in Singapore. And yesterday, I had a number of visions, encounters as I was here in Singapore. And my hotel room right now, um, I'm overlooking the city, which is beautiful, it's great. I'm overlooking the city. And yesterday, the Lord caught me up in a vision. And in the vision, uh, the Lord showed me a net. The Lord showed me a net over Singapore. And the Lord showed me prophetically a net over Singapore. And the Lord said, cast your nets on the right side. The Lord said, cast your nets on the right side. And the Lord began to minister to me about the nets, the nets of God. And last night, I felt led to preach and to minister on John 21, which is a very uh, personal passage to me. Because in 2021, the word that God gave me was John 21. But real quickly, I want to read the scripture or the verse of this broadcast. And then we're going to go into some word and some revelation. We're going to believe for the fire of God to hit your life. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. So let's go to this passage here. Hallelujah. Shakaraba <laughs> sete. If you're with me today, say amen. If you're excited to be here, I want you to say hallelujah. And I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices, and it's good to see you. I'm alive here in Singapore, and I'm alive and well. This is the third leg of my summer trip. Of course, I went to Samoa and Fiji, and that was awesome. Incredible harvest there. And from the Polynesian Oceania region, I went over to Hawaii, and we did a conference last week or Prophet Charlie Brinchamp and Steve Swanson. And from there, now I'm here in Southeast Asia, the third leg of the summer tour. It's a long trip. Continue to pray with me. Thank you for your love and prayers. I'm believing for a mighty harvest in Jesus' name. And all of God's people say amen. And it's not a coincidence. Okay, last tangent. It's not a coincidence that... A lot of ministers, or I'm seeing 
on social media, a lot of people are coming to Asia right now. There's something about Asia, Shakaraba, that God is highlighting and the Lord is expanding. He's doing here in Asia. So glory be to God. It's a season. Amen. So, all right. <clears throat> Let's go to this word here, John 21, 20, uh, John 21, 5 to 7. And Jesus called out to them, friends, haven't you any fish? Have you caught any fish? Amen. No, they answered, no. And he said to them, throw your nets on the right side and you will find some. When they did, say did, when they did, when they listened to the Lord, when they obeyed the Lord, when they listened to the word of God, when they did, they were unable to haul the net in because of the large number of fish. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it's the Lord. John declared, it's the Lord. And as soon as Simon Peter heard him say, it's the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him for he taken up and he jumped into the water, etc., etc. Now, interesting thing I want to point out here is that the revelation of Jesus was manifested at the harvest. It was at the harvest of fish that they saw it was Jesus. It was at the harvest of catching the fish that they saw it was Jesus. They did not recognize it was the Lord. They did not recognize that it was Jesus. And uh, actually, interesting fact, you guys keep commenting that it's freezing up. Um, I think there was a, a short power outage here in my in my in the whole hotel that I'm staying at about uh, 30 minutes ago because it is raining outside, but there was a short power outage. The whole room went out for a split second. Very interesting. But they realized it was Jesus at the harvest. So I want to propose to you real quick that some of you are going to understand that it's the Lord Jesus Christ only when there's a manifestation of the harvest. Why? Because the harvest stands for the glory of God. The harvest stands for the manifestation of God's promises. Amen. Shakaraba. So here, you know the story. Peter was discouraged. Peter was discouraged. Peter was falling like he had failed the Lord. He was beaten down, bruised. His whole life was shattered. His whole life was now depressed and oppressed. He lost his best friend. He betrayed the Lord Jesus Christ. And here's Peter at his lowest place in life. Imagine, how would you feel if you betrayed Jesus? How would you feel if three years of your life you were investing in the Lord, investing in the ministry? How would you feel if everything in your life just came crumbling down on an instant and the whole world feels like it just turned upside down? And here's Peter. He's feeling like a zero. He's feeling like he's, you know, a sore loser. He's all alone. And here's Peter feeling like a sore loser, like his whole world just is destroyed and came crumbling down. And he goes to fish. And as he goes to fish, you know the story, he catches nothing. He, he fishes all night and he catches nothing. Not a nilch, nunca, zero. He catches nothing. However, Jesus encounters him at the shores. And he says, Throw your net on the right side. Are you hearing me today? Throw your net on the right side because I want to teach how to fish. Cast your net on the right side. And when Peter heeded to the word of the Lord, to the voice of God, boom, there was a great harvest in Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Give us some hearts and likes. Obviously, there's some, uh, there's some hindrance to this broadcast, but I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost because I'm releasing this word over your life. Here's Peter. He had an encounter with Jesus at the shore. And Jesus said, I'm gonna teach you how to fish. Throw your net on the right side. Listen, I believe even as we are here in the month of August, and I have great expectations for this month. Can I get an amen? Great expectations. August is a month of new beginnings. It's a month of new anointings, new wine, new wineskins. Shock in this month. 
there's going to be an outpouring of abundance over your life. And all of God's people say amen. However, as Peter felt like a zero, he became a hero because he listened to the word of the Lord. I believe right now God is giving many of us a course correction. God has given us a course correction. What does that mean? God is beginning to correct us, rebuke us, convict us. Things are changing in your life. And you thought you could fish. You thought you could go and do it a certain way. I've always been doing it like this. You know, Brother Ben, you know, Pastor Ben, we've been doing it like this our whole lives. This is what we've been doing our whole life. Oh, the devil is a liar. I believe in this season, God is saying, I'm going to teach you how to do it again. And I'm going to teach you afresh. And it's going to be different. You have to hear the word of the Lord because God is speaking and God is moving. And the Lord spoke to Peter Throw your net on the right side. Someone say amen. Throw your net on the right side. And I believe right now in this season, God is saying, don't be discouraged. Don't feel like a failure. Some of you, you are at your wit's end. You are at your lowest point. Some of you, you feel like you caught nothing. You caught nothing all night. Shatarabata. You're empty. Your bank account is zero. Your bank account is in the red. But I believe the Lord is saying, I'm going to teach you how to believe again. I'm going to teach you how to say yes again. I'm going to teach you how to throw your net on the right side. And Jesus, the master fisherman, is teaching Peter, throw your net on the right side. I want to prophesy to you, don't give up. It's not the end for you. It's not the end. It may be the end of something, but it's just the beginning of something new. Can I get an amen? It may be the end of something, but it is the beginning of something new. And I want to prophesy to you, to all of the wary Peters, to all of those Peters that feel like you failed. You, you're failed in misery. You're stuck in misery. You feel like you're stuck. You feel like you're in doom and gloom. God is about to break that spirit of despair and stupor off of your life. Because there's something fresh and something new that God's doing on the inside of you in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you're with me today, I want you to say amen. So I believe Jesus is saying, throw your net on the right side. Cast your net on the right side. And yesterday, I had a vision as I was in my hotel room in prayer. And the Lord showed me a net over Singapore. I want you to comment net, N-E-T. The Lord showed me a net over Singapore. And the Lord gave me a very specific word for this nation, which I released last night in the spirit and in the corporate atmosphere. Rebe se teraba. But... The Lord showed me a vision of a net over Singapore. And I want to talk to you today about this net. Because Jesus said, throw your net, cast your net on the right side. Some of you are tired. Some of you are tired of fishing. You're tired. You want to give up. You've been trying to fish all night. You've been trying, you've been trying to build. Come on, you're tired. Oh, Jesus, when am I going to break through? When is it going to shift? When is it going to change? Hit about, but God is saying, throw your net on the right side. And I believe the spirit of the Lord is about to anoint you for the greatest harvest of your life. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen and give the Lord a mighty clap and give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall because the Lord is going to anoint you again to cast your net on the right side. It's the word of the Lord. And remember, it was at the harvest that the re revelation of Jesus came forth. I prophesy you're going to experience and encounter Jesus in a whole new way. You're going to experience the glory of God in a whole new way. Someone would say amen. You are going to experience the glory of God in a whole new way, whole new measure, a whole new manner. It's going to be different from the past. There's going to be a harvest of abundance in your net, in your catch, but you have to make the decision to obey again. You have to make the decision to obey the Lord and you have to make the decision to cast your net again. I know it's tiring. I know it's discouraging. She cut I know maybe the first five, six, seven cold calls, you didn't get nothing. The first five, six, seven times you fail miserably. But the Lord says, don't give up. Though a righteous man falls seven times, still he gets back up. Amen. Though a righteous person. So I believe God is teaching us how to fish. And here the Bible says they were unable to haul the net in because of the large number of fish. Someone say hallelujah. They were not able to haul in the net because of the large number of fish. 
Are you ready to catch? Are you ready for the greatest catch of your life? Are you ready for the greatest harvest of your life? Listen, I believe, friends, in these last two months of 5783, and as well in the last, in the second half of 2023, I believe we're going to see the greatest outpouring and harvest of souls and finances, revival fire, revival glory. I believe God has saved and preserved the best for last. And I believe in the second half of 2023, God is about to shock you, surprise you, and wow you, and bless you. And you're not going to be able to haul in the catch. Someone say amen. In the next two months, as we are about to close 5783, expect a great outpouring over your life. In Jesus' name, if you're ready to receive that, I want you to say hallelujah and give some hearts and likes in the mighty name of Jesus. But yesterday, I had a vision of a net over Singapore. And I ministered this in the corporate atmosphere last night. Hallelujah. Because I sensed there were some discouraged people. People that were discouraged, feeling beaten down and feeling beat up and feeling like losers. But the Lord wanted to encourage the fishermen and the harvesters and the leaders and the workers of the field, the Lord wanted to encourage them that a new net is coming. A new harvest is coming. A new anointing is coming. A new glory, a new fire, shaka. A new miracle realm anointing is coming. Someone say amen. And the Lord wanted me to encourage the people that you have not seen your greatest catch yet. Can I talk to you right now? You have not sung your greatest song yet. You have not had your greatest experience yet. You have not broken your greatest contract yet. You have not seen your greatest harvest. You have not seen your greatest miracle yet. I know life is good. Life is great for some of you. And uh, you're saying, Dr. Ben, life is great. But you know, you have not seen your greatest miracle yet. The best is yet to come. The best is still ahead of you. It's not behind you. Can I get an amen? And the Lord wants to encourage you that a great harvest is coming. Hallelujah. A great, great harvest is coming. But you have to be willing to cast your net out again. You have to be willing to step out of the boat. You have to be willing to try it again. You failed. You crashed miserably. People scammed you. They stole money from you. You got church hurt. You felt hurt by the pastor, by the man, woman of God. You're dealing with daddy issues, mommy issues. But you have to believe again. You have to try again. Someone say amen. You have to try again. And it's in the second chance. It's in the second opportunity. I feel the Lord. It's in you trying again where you're going to find the greatest harvest. You are one step away from your greatest breakthrough. You are one prayer away. You are one act away. You are one person away. You are one moment away from that moment launching you into your destiny. Someone say amen. You are one moment away. This broadcast can be the broadcast that launches you into your greatest harvest. This moment right now can be that moment that's going to shift your life forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you believe it, say amen. And give some hearts and likes. I believe right now God is saying try again. But it's going to be different. Do you know why it's going to be different? Because you're going to listen even more to the word of the Lord. And that anointing is going to come upon you to catch some fish. God's going to teach us how to fish. God's going to teach you how to be a multimillionaire. God's going to teach you how to be an incredible entrepreneur, incredible businessman, woman. God's going to teach you. He's going to teach us how to be sons and daughters. Amen. Because there's something greater coming. There's a greater glory coming. There's a greater measure coming. Can I get a hallelujah? There's something greater coming. And you will be unable to haul it in. You will be unable to bring it in. Because it's going to be so great. No eye has seen. No ear has heard. No heart has fathomed. What God has prepared for those who truly love him. Someone say hallelujah. And I believe God is stirring up faith. He's breaking off discouragement in the name of Jesus. And the Spirit of God is encouraging you. Peter, Peter, have you caught any fish? Peter, Peter, Israel, have you caught any fish? Diana, 
finale ferraro have you caught any no jesus is saying i'm gonna teach you how to fish you're discouraged you're bankrupt you're in the low you're in the red you're tired you're weary you feel like you failed you feel like everybody's scattered, everybody's betrayed you, and now your whole life has crumbled to become nothing. But Jesus is about to encourage you. Shakarab, cast your net on the right side. Cast your net again and watch what God's gonna do. Someone say, Hal, hit about I prophesy. Get ready for your nets to break. Get ready for a hauling in of a great harvest, a hauling in of a great mega harvest. I prophesy the Gemel anointing. The camels are coming in the last two months of 5783. Jesus is about to release the harvest because the Bible says he's the Lord of the harvest. He's the Lord of the harvest. Somebody say hallelujah. So cast your nets in Jesus' name. Cast your nets. Someone say hallelujah. Now, once again, yesterday, I had a vision of a net. And that's why I'm sharing this word with you prophetically in the spirit. Yesterday, I had a vision of a net over Singapore, over this country. And I want to talk to you three things that a net represents. Three things that a net represents. Okay, three things. Number one, the first thing that a net represents is, of course, harvest. Okay, I want you to say harvest. Now, if you're not wanting to catch fish, if you're not wanting to gain a harvest, why have a net? Because the net is a tool or an instrument to catch fish. So the net, number one, represents the harvest. Okay? It represents the harvest. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. The net represents harvest. And the greater the net, the greater the harvest. The larger the net, the larger the harvest. So the Lord is about to expand your network. God's about to expand your territory. God's expanding your vision, your gifting. He's increasing the metron on your life. He's increasing the fire of God in your life. So the net stands for the harvest. And you know what? We need nets that work. That's what networks stand for. We need nets that work. We need relationships that work. We need covenant appointed divine appointments. We need friendships, partnerships that work in Jesus' name. And so a net stands for the harvest. The larger the net, the larger the harvest. Number two, the second thing that a net stands for is expansion, is expansion. A net stands for enlargement and expansion. Of course, a net, you could crumple it up into a ball or into a pile, or you could expand it wide and it will expand and enhance and be so enlarged that it will cover a territory or a plot of water or a plot of land. Someone say amen. So a net stands for expansion. And I believe right now in the season, God is saying, I want to expand your faith. I want to expand the fire. I want to expand your vision. Oh, that's a good one. Come on, Dr. Ben. Someone, someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. God wants to expand your vision. Isn't it interesting when times get difficult, a lot of times we want to shrink back. But the Bible says that we are not like those who shrink back, but we go boldly before the throne of grace. Shoo. We come boldly before the throne. We don't shrink back. We have faith because faith is aggressive and faith advances. And faith is a weapon. And we go from faith to faith, glory to glory, victory to victory, breakthrough to breakthrough. Hey, hit about someone shot, hallelujah. And so God wants to expand your vision. And so some of you, <laughs> you want to cut back. You want to play small. You're saying, Dr. Ben, maybe I should do less, you know? And I do believe, again, less is more sometimes, right? Less is more sometimes. Hallelujah. <laughs> But the Lord is saying, I want to expand your faith. I want to expand your vision. So there's a realm of expansion coming. And I believe God is saying, expand your net. Expand net stand for expansion, enlargement, and enhancement. And I prophesy right now, the Spirit of God is about to expand you. God is about to stretch you. God is about to expand you. And the Holy Ghost is about to increase your life. Because there's something bigger and greater coming. Listen, we already know that uh, that there's a course correction in the economy. 
who have not even hit recession. I'm here in Singapore, and Singapore is one of the wealthiest countries in the world. And I'm here in Singapore, I believe per capita at least. And I'm here in Singapore, and a number of people are telling me how inflation is skyrocketing, things have increased, things are very expensive right now in Singapore, etc. It's happening everywhere. But we have not even touched the iceberg, the tip of the iceberg yet. But you know what? We need to get ready. Expansion. We need to get ready. Stretch out your tent pegs. We need to get ready. Begin to expand now. Build now. Get ready now before it's too late. Before the digital currency of the one world order, before the mark of the beast. All right. If you do, you do not have the mark, then you will not be able to buy, sell, and trade. That's happening right now. Amen. So God is saying, get ready. Get your storehouses ready. Get, get Noah's ark ready. Get ready in the name of Jesus. So the net stand for enhancement, expansion, and enlargement. People get ready. Amen. Yesterday I heard a great new song from Lindy Kofer and Matt Redmond. People get ready. That's fire. You need to go download that and listen to it. People Get Ready by Lindy Kofer and Matt Redman. Very powerful song. And the third thing that the net stands for, the third thing. The third thing, good to see Apostle Joshua. The, good, the third thing that the net stands for is teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. So the net stands for teamwork. Because if you want to, Catch a large haul of fish. Hallelujah. You need a great team to operate and function as one unit, as one. It, the larger the harvest, the larger the team you need. The larger the harvest, the larger the net. And what, are you going to pull that in by yourself? Yeah, right. Do you know how heavy these fighting fish are? When fight, When fish are... Coming out of the water, first and foremost, let me talk to you about fishing because I like to fish or I'm a wannabe uh, aspiring fisherman, right? So whenever you catch fish, number one, the fish fight. They're fighters, okay? And the bigger the fish, the bigger the fight. Can I get an amen? So these fish fight. They got some strength in them, okay? Even pulling up these little whippersnappers sometimes, they will tire you out. And you know, I'm, I'm kind of a big guy right now. They will tire you out, okay? But it's all in the technique and the method. And you have to learn to reel the fish and you have to learn to move with the fish. But that's another day, another time. So number one, fish fight. They fight. Number two, they're underwater. So that gravity or that pressure of being underwater, come on somebody, it makes it even heavier and even more difficult for you to pull the fish out of the water. Amen. Because there's an extra pressure and gravity in the water. So fish fight, number two, the water makes it even more difficult. It adds on pressure for the fish to come forth. And then number three, whenever you're catching fish, okay, imagine there's an abundance of fish. You're catching multiple fish at one time in a net. Now you have to pull the whole net with multitudes of fish. And you think you could do that alone? Are you kidding me? You think you could do that by yourself, by your human strength? No, my friends. Catching a large boatload, a large plunder, a large harvest, a large haul of fish is going to require many hands. It's going to require many people. Someone say amen. And you know what? The best part about it is too much fish, if it's not taken care of or eaten quickly, it's going to go bad. And God is not a wasteful God. God does not waste. Come on, somebody. Are you hearing me today? God does not waste. So when one person gains a harvest, it's everyone's harvest. When I win, you win. When you win, I win. We win together in Jesus' name. It takes a whole company, a whole collective, a whole body to win together in the name of Jesus. Someone say hallelujah. So the nets stand for teamwork. And <clears throat> the more tight the team is in the spirit of love, humility, and in the spirit of God, shaka, the more unified a body is. There's no crack. There's no chip.
schism. There's no creeping offense that will try to come in. But the more unified a body is, then the more tight the pulling up of the harvest is, which means you will not lose one, which means you're not going to lose one. I'm prophesying to you right now. The net is coming to your life. God is stretching out the net. God is expanding the net. God is increasing your net, your net of influence. What does a net stand for? It stands for your influence. It stands, your, stands for your metron, your sphere of influence. Amen. I'm here in Singapore and Malaysia, and, and you know what? I have a sphere of influence here. I have a sphere of influence. And in fact, last night, I was very encouraged because maybe a third or half of the people that came last night to our meeting here in Singapore they said they follow me ad adamantly on Facebook, on social media. I was very encouraged about that, praise God. But God is about to expand your sphere of influence. God is about to expand your metron of influence. Shatarabah, some say hallelujah. And then number three, get ready for the teamwork, the nets that work. There's so much that God has for you, my friends. And I believe God is wanting to encourage you. Throw your net on the right side. I'm going to teach you how to fish. Don't be discouraged, Peter. Peter, you just felt betrayed. You just betrayed Jesus. You feel like a sore, sorry loser. You're all alone. You've tried to catch fish all night. You've caught nothing. Do you know how sad that is? I'm, I'm telling you, whenever I go fishing and I catch nothing or whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. Because I spent all that time, spent all that money, and we catch nothing. Do you know what that means? We don't eat. That means we don't eat. If you don't hunt, you don't eat. If you don't catch, you don't eat. So it is the responsibility of the hunter or the fisherman, the man, to bring back some food. To bring the family a harvest. Are you hearing me today? God is about to expand your nets. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. I prophesy a new net is coming over you. And the Lord wants to encourage you, beloved. Cast your nets on the right side. Cast your nets on the right side. Don't be discouraged. Don't be in despair. Do not be depressed. There's a new catch coming. I'm talking to you. There's a new catch coming. A new glory is coming. A new harvest, a new miracle. New friends are coming. New people are coming to your ministry. New people are coming to your life. New people are coming to your business. There's going to be new contacts, new contracts, new deals. There's going to be new streams of income. There's going to be new. It's coming. It's coming. There's new. There's new. There's new. Jesus said to Peter, throw your net on the right side. Amen. Throw your net on the right side. And when he obeyed the word of the Lord, he didn't need to. He didn't have to. He didn't even know it was Jesus. But he just took a random leap of faith. And he said, why not? What have I got to lose? Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel faith. The Lord's not done with you. The Lord is not done with you. We have barely entered into the second half of 23. Shoot. The Lord is not done with you, my friends. This is not the end of your life. It's just the beginning. This is not the end of your ministry. It's just the beginning. Amen. And I want to prophesy to every discouraged, weary, lonely, feeling like a failure, Peter. Your whole world's crumbled, crumbled down. You're all alone. You tried to catch fish, but you've caught nothing. Empty. Zero. I'm speaking generally, brother. I'm speaking to you. So receive it in Jesus' name. I, I want to encourage you. To all those Peters, you feel like you've caught nothing. Get ready for the greatest catch of your life. Get ready for the greatest harvest of your life. You have not sung your best song yet. You have not preached your best message yet. You have not walked through your greatest open door yet. You have not experienced Jesus in the greatest encounter. Come on, there's a greater encounter, a greater glory, a new fire, a new harvest, a new... There's something so great that God has for you. But have faith and obey the word of the Lord. Cast your nets on the right side. 
and watch what God will do for you. Can I get an amen? Listen, I want to pray for you, friends. Lift up your hands right now. Father, I thank you. Blessed be your name. Touch your people. Thank you that there's a new net, a new glory, a new catch, and a new harvest. And I ask you right now that you would empower, strengthen, and encourage your people today to do what they don't want to do. To do the very thing where they feel like they failed at. To do the very thing where they feel like I failed miserably at this. Dr. Ben, Pastor Ben, I, I, I failed miserably. I, I don't feel like I'm a good husband. I don't feel like I'm a good wife. I don't feel like I'm a good minister. I don't feel like I'm a good mother, good father. Come on, there's always second chances. There's always a new day. His mercies are new every morning. Can I get an amen? There's always a new chance opportunity to love, to reconcile, to become a better person, and to make things right in your life. And I declare right now, God is making every wrong thing right in your life. Every wrong thing is becoming right in your life. The Lord is aligning. And even as the Lord said, cast your net on the right side. There's going to be a righteous alignment. And, and okay, so I hear the Lord saying, I don't even know if this is a, a word, but I'm hearing in my mind, all right. He's making it all right. All right. And he's making everything all right. But he's making things all right. So thank you right now for the right people, the right assignment, the right word. Listen, I feel such a grace. And you are going to feel, see, experience Jesus in a whole new way. Amen. Get ready for your nets to break. Get ready for the greatest catch of your life. Get ready for a great glory and a great outpouring in Jesus' name. Lift up your hands. Father, bless your people. I thank you right now that a great harvest is coming. A great catch is coming. I have need of you, Peter. I have need of you, beloved. I have need of you, Cece. Need of you, Israel. Need of you, Vanessa. I have need of you. I'm not done with you yet. I know you feel washed up and you feel washed out. But I have need of you because there's a great catch that's coming. There's a great miracle. There's a great harvest. How will they believe if they don't hear? How will they hear if they don't preach? How will they preach if they're not saying? There's a great harvest. There's something great that's coming. And I have need of you. I'm not done with you yet. Someone say amen and amen and amen. So bless your people today in Jesus' name. Yesterday, I saw a vision of a net over Singapore. And that's why I'm ministering to you today about the nets. And the Lord says, cast your nets out again. Cast your nets out again. Give your brother, your sister, an olive branch again. Reach out again. Believe again. Pray again. Have faith again. Love again. Go fish. Go deep again. In the name of Jesus. And all of God's people say amen, amen, and amen. Well, friends, thanks for watching today. Like I said, I'm here in Singapore. I have tonight and tomorrow night. Two more evenings of meetings here in Singapore. And then I go over to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I have four days straight. I have five services in four days in Malaysia. Then uh, next weekend, I have an opening. Let's see how the Lord leads us. Then I go over to Indonesia. So I still have two and a half more weeks here in Southeast Asia to pray with me. I love you all. Love you, love you. I hope, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this broadcast. And if you received today, I want you to say amen and give us some hearts and likes. And do consider sharing this on your wall. Uh, because I know that this was an anointed, timely word of God, word from the Lord. Amen. If you agree with that, say amen. And uh, share this on your wall. Give somebody a tag. And consider giving this page a like and a follow. And even subscribing. If you subscribe, then it's a form of monthly partnership to this ministry. Amen. And as well, we also have 7M Glory Equip, which is my online group mentorship 
Listen, I believe in the power of mentorship. I believe in the power of community and the power of impartation whew, and proximity. Someone say hallelujah. So I do have an online group mentorship and I see a number of you a part of it, but I would love to be your mentor. I would love to mentor you, to walk with you. I would love to pour into you and, uh, you know, to be more a part of your life. And if you are encouraged by a prophetic supernatural ministry, then do consider joining our 7M Glory Equip. And uh, if you join the group mentorship, we have at least two private Zooms a month, which is always awesome and always filled with glory and revelation. And as well, you uh, will become a part of a private Telegram group with all of our fellow 7M members. And of course, number three, you will have greater access and proximity with me. So I would love to see you. It's still not too late for you to be mentored or for you to walk with a mentor, be in a community group of believers that really all have the same heart, same fire, same heart of love and mercy. Amen. But give, give us a like, a follow on social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, here on Facebook. Love you, bless you. Thanks for watching. Get ready to cast your net out again. God bless. Shalom from Singapore.